Okay, everybody, this is Anthony with you. This is uh, my new trike. This is the new Cat Trike 700. Just bought May, the end of May 2013. So, this is the new model with the 20 inch wheels and the 700C wheel, of course, in the back, which is a upgrade to uh, where is it da -da -da. it's a velocity wheel so that's an upgrade it's a little stiffer wheel and the new dropouts with the cat trike swish the x7 shimano x x7 rear derailleur Derail derailleur Ugh, can't say it. Derailleur. Derailleur today. <laughs> and this is the, uh, it's a 10 speed system. So it's 10, 10 sprockets in the back, and three in the front, which it's an FSA Gossamer crank in the front with a really, really sleek looking chain protector, chain guard. And here's something of note. These are the new Catrike fenders, and they are just absolutely beautiful. They are quiet. There's no more wire to the front here where the new end caps are. It's a three-point system that's mounted. One, two, three. And it's got like a rubber isolator in there, which is what I did to the old 16-inch fenders. It quieted him down. Catrike got wise to that and did that. And just, these are so light and so nicely machined. These fenders are way big improvement over the old ones. And of course, Saber Green, that's the color I picked with the nice off color boom, which is black, which is a real nice accent to the Saber Green frame in the Catrike bags rear fender. I'm not too happy with the rear fender. reason is, is these really suck. <laughs> so I'm going to probably get these to up upgraded to the ones that are metal that are, they have the metal bracket in the fender and they go all the way inside. It just, they're just more solid. I've had these crack many times and they're, I, a cat trike should not even bother with those when they have the, the, um, fender set. But at any rate, the front ones are just stunning. They're they're quiet, dead silent, and they're bombproof. I mean, they're really, really nicely built. This is the new and improved neck rust that's a little bit bigger than the old one. Although I'm gonna upgrade that to a crispy Steve neck rust. Um, people on that right around line know who crispy Steve is. A lot of them, on, especially in the triking world, he makes phenomenal neck rusts. Unfortunately, the trike that I had, the old 700. The neck rest got sold with that, so I hear that he has made his a little lighter, and that'll be double nice for this trike. So um, these are arm rests. So when you rest your wrist, wrist rest rather, these are a godsend. Unfortunately, I lost the foam toppings that go to it the first ride. This is my second ride on the trike. And I'm going to have to contact Catrike to see if they can send me another pair. They need to be glued on or something. They're not very stable. They pop off very easily. But even with the metal, these things are just even really nice to have somewhere to rest your wrists on those long rides. And lastly, the big, big upgrade was the fairing. That's a WGX. TerraCycle wind wrap fairing with the swing mount. This is the largest fairing that they make. Probably the largest that you can get that I know of. And they I got the tinted version and it has the swing mount. And it swings closed. There's all kinds of adjustments on here that can 
you can make for the pitch of the angle, the angle of attack and the fairing. Um, it's a little finicky getting it just right, but it takes a couple rides to dial that in to have it where you, where you want it. Personally, I like looking out the fairing. I really never, it's hard, maybe hard to tell on camera, but I never really have any issue looking out. I do 90% of my riding on bike paths. But some people, especially TerraCycle, they recommend that you should be able to look over the fairing. I can if I get out of the seat, but you know, the 700 sits really low. So you're sort of forced to look out of the fairing in a lot of ways. But I never have a problem with it, anyways. And the bottom of the frame, the seat is about an inch higher than the old 700, but the recline is, it's more reclined, a couple degrees. And it just is so much more comfortable than to me than the old 700 where my neck was really stiff and on a funny position. So, it, to me, with the 20 inch wheels, it's a smoother ride, a little bit longer wheelbase, and that angled back seat then you get a little more ground clearance. Uh, what I do <laughs> is I put, believe it or not, bubble wrap <laughs> on the bottom members of the frame to keep the paint from chipping. Um, unfortunately, the powder coats that Catrix does, they look phenomenal. Problem is, in my experience, they're not very durable. They chip a pebble like flying from one of the wheels can hit the bottom of the frame ping when you hear that ping guaranteed there's a piece of paint missing so powder coats I don't know they're really nice looking but I wish they were a little more durable quite honestly so but then again I wish they'd make a titanium frame <laughs> which probably won't happen so um, and yeah that's about it and this is the tour of the Catrike 700 a couple things I might want to do in the future will be to upgrade the ceramic bearings and velocity front wheels and I wish that Catrike would have went since they've upgraded the rear wheel just went with velocities on the front or decent wheels in the front instead of this, uh, the fact in-house wheels they have not that they're bad they're pretty good but I wouldn't mind having the name brand set of wheels on the front and these new tires are, and then this the, that comes with this model is the Schwabe Durango 20 by 1.0, 115 psi. I run about 100 in the front, and then this Schwabe Durango 700 by 23 in the back. I might go to a 25, a little more comfort, and 145 max pounds per square inch. I run about 130. That's usually plenty, unless you're racing. I mean, it rides like a truck when you have. You feel a hair when you run over it if it's, you know, 150, 40, 50 pounds. To me, that's a little overkill, but it is what it is, and I run about 130, and it's you can live with it on the smoother roads, so. And, um, got about 40 miles on the trike. Made in USA. Cat trike, uh, they, one thing I will say about Paulo at Cat trike is every single year, he improves little things. And I will say that this trike isn't a huge improvement over the 16-inch the previous one, 16-inch wheels on the previous one. But um, all the little things, the longer wheelbase, the stiffer rear wheel and dropouts, the more aerodynamic seating position, slightly, um, they all make a difference pulling together. So it's not one big thing that changed. It's a lot of little, and then the 20 inch wheels, of course, which I really think that's an incredible uh, upgrade. One disadvantage I've noticed with this trike is the turning's a little stiffer feeling than the Agile 16 inch wheel 700, and it doesn't accelerate as quick. It just doesn't. I don't know why, but when you get it up to speed, it's nice, and it is much smoother riding, and it's much more comfortable. So if you're looking for comfort and smooth, and you're not looking to you know, race on a racetrack, this is the trike, and don't let the 700 high performance model fool you, it's probably their most comfortable uh, trike, uh, minus, other than the, the um, shock, the new shock absorbing road 
model they got. Wouldn't be surprised if they put the shock on the Expedition. They shouldn't bother doing that to the 700 though. That would be a big, huge mistake because the whole idea is the performance stiff frame and that would just totally rob the energy. And yeah, I know the new shocks and that, they're linear, they're, they're engineered to reduce less wasted energy, but they're not gonna be as fast as a stiff frame. It's just not gonna happen. So hopefully, I don't see it happening because this is a performance trike, so I doubt they'll ever, ever um, put a shock on here. That would be a travesty. So, anyways, um, I think I, my hat's off to Apollo. I mean, there is a huge improvement. The little, All the little improvements pulled are one big one, and they are definitely noticeable. So, get out there and get a Catrike 700 2013 and up. I mean, they're, you'll ride it, you won't look back. And I hope this video was informative and hope you all enjoy it. Oh, yeah, one last thing. I got to give a shout out to RBR and Rob Gentry. Rob Gentry out there at RBR and State College PA for putting this together and, and um, making a phenomenal uh, trike uh, setup for me. Uh, minus the fairing, I did that on my own. I went through Utah trikes for that, but um, he did a phenomenal job and he's a nice guy and he knows his stuff. and. He will always do right by you, so. Okay, and get out there and do some riding. It's 70 degrees out here in Northeast Ohio, and it, you couldn't ask for a more absolutely perfect day. I'm gonna do another 25 miles. And see you on the bike trails, bye.